yeah okay so people will ask you right what you implemented okay i am telling you ma this is how it will be there in general okay so you should be very clear because you are we all are getting confused like okay see here what you implemented right so let's say i implemented incident management first we'll start with this one why i, I will start with this one is there is a reason okay so far i don't know anything about it okay even i don't know what what is about incident also okay so how how i can learn incident management first of all see in order to implement incident management you should know about incident right what is incident right definitions of incident right you all agree yes or no yes sir yeah now how i can learn incident how i want to if i want i want to learn incident management how i can learn incident okay you need a platform or a tool to do this first thing right okay so just look for incident management tools just see this is how we can learn ma it's not uh, this is not related to service now but general okay so these many incident management tools are there if you just go through here 10 best incident management tools okay maybe only incident management it's not like it has some full setup but only incident management okay you just install any one of this solar winds okay maybe remedy jira this and all will come solar winds and again it came two times manage engine yes one okay spice works so you just give, take any one okay in this 10 you take any one okay so you have one tool let's say i don't know these tools also okay i can't because every everything if you download it na it is uh, maybe one week free trial okay one month free trial okay i can't buy it right so you need a platform first of all you need a platform to practice it okay so which is the very easiest platform that you can get it service now go to developer.com create an account and it loads the entire setup without rupee one rupee also don't see service now course okay i am not talking about service now course okay one application i am learning about one process okay so you just create an account you log into this one there you have incident management okay then you have already a pre setup okay this is good now i can learn from here first you you have a platform right till this point everyone agree yes no yes sir now i want to also learn grc i want to also learn hr sm i want to also know idea demand okay this is your question ma sri devi garu right yes sir yes okay now how i can learn this is the first important thing don't see development first of all even if if i if i if one if someone is teaching hr as some service no course also they will not be teaching you the development they will be teaching you hrsm what is hrsm what are the things will be there in the hrsm maybe case okay uh, in hrsm hr case management will come case is a kind of ticket and something called services will come okay what is services have you created a services those things are all come if, if it is demand management okay idea idea is a kind of idea table okay and demand is one table like same and if it is grc okay governance risk and compliance so these are all records in the different they are all records in the different different tables different table, governance table risk table compliance table here incident table okay how i can get grc in service now okay go to store this one you already know it i am just again repeating it social class what is that plugins right so get the grc plugin install it same like hrsm even uh, demand management also itbm okay let's just see one why big why i am saying this one is like i need to clear it up <coughs> clear something see here grc 
So if you get GRC, you will be getting that application. Okay, where is that GRC application risk management? Yeah, this one or this one. Okay, just get one which is relevant to that. Okay, maybe you can get it from ServiceNow uh, documentation, exact application. But these are not all related to GRC only, I can see. Okay, right, get this application. Okay, now you have application installed. Similarly, like incident. Okay, and then if you want to get demand idea also, just to get it. Okay, demand management. Yeah, 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 it came. This one. Okay, you just install it. Okay, now once you install it, how I will learn any application? Okay, this is where we stuck up. So now I don't know anything about incident. Right? First, read the documentation ITS, ITIL, incident management or demand management. It is just like don't read a book but just to see what it is. Okay, something like this. And then the next easiest way is come here, see the incident management, create minimum 10 to 20 incidents. Okay, create it and also see the existing incidents. Okay, when you are creating it, you will be creating, you will be filling every field. Okay, when you are seeing this field, when you are seeing this form, you will be knowing every option. What is color? Okay, so what is this one? What is this one? What is this one? So you, when you create minimum 10, you will understand why we are creating incident. And also before you are creating 10 incident, 20 incident, you know the basic definition of incident management. What is incident? Life cycle of incident. Okay, incident, how it will be identified, how it will be created, how it will be categorized, prioritized. This one, maybe I will just give a basic idea. Okay, you need to search for this kind of thing before you start creating many. Okay, once you start creating it, you will know what exactly it will be there in real time. Okay, and if you see more incidents, see here, you have a repository here. Let's say we open some 10 incident. Okay, then it will tell you something why this incident is created they are reporting something how do you create a subfolder so the this this one also there is something so it will take you to a company a team where you feel like okay this is my issue and if i get this kind of issue why i am re why how i can create it okay and why i kept all this impact and all and who it is like everything you will start seeing this thing category subcategory so this is how you will learn it you got it even service now also we are we are working we are uh, learning like this one we are seeing options we are trying options we are practicing options so same hrsm also you will open a case see the case and then what are the components in the case what are the definitions of the case create 10 cases then i want to create 10 fields and a new case form i want to create a business tool i want to create a catalog item i want to see everything it, it will be aligned even if you go to GRC page, right click, you see the same thing. It will not change. Okay. Why we get scared is because we will be limited. Even even some if someone asks you like, okay, what is the, what are the three types of changes also, that we will fail to answer because we didn't see much of them. We didn't really work on real time. That's where the gap will come. You got it, ma? Even, okay. uh, even let's say, okay, let's say I will uh, take like, okay, one week we have HRSM concepts. I will teach HRSM. What I will be teaching is nothing. What is HR case management? What is case? What is service? How to create a case? How to create a service? What are the definition of each field? Apart from that, nothing I can teach. If I want to teach something related to service now development, again, our classes only. I want to create a business tool on HR table. How I can create it? You got it right, ma? So, this way you can learn one by one. Once you are very strong with these basics, okay, then take one specialization, maybe a GRC or a demand management. Learn from scratch what is an idea, what is a demand, how to convert an idea to demand, what are the definitions of them in real time, then you will get it now. Blindly just create some 20 30 incidents, 20 30 governance, okay, 20 30 ideas, convert them into demands then you will get what exactly it is you got it 
Right or wrong? Yeah. Because see here, there is there is there are few teams where they will work on only instance service test people. Okay, instant management. They don't be learning from books, even from videos also. What they do? Okay, they will be having some nice communication. They will be provided with one tool, and then they will receive a ticket. They will create an instant. They will assign it, and they will be knowing all these fields. Why I need to give high priority? Okay, because the customer is VIP, they will blindly check it. After the three months of time, they will be expert in instant management. You are getting it right. They are not learning anything, but they are doing it. They are creating more and more and more. They are discussing more and more and more. Okay, let's say I will just create one incident like this. Okay, when I took the call, service desk person, I am service desk person. I took a call, and then I created one incident with low priority. immediately customer came and say why you kept low priority it is a high priority then i have to change here then i have to ask him why it is high priority give the justification okay why he will ask why then i will tell it is impacts the sls see how, how i am learning i am not learning sla class okay i am not learning all these instant i am learning by doing right this is how we we need to learn the processes These are all processes. They are not technical stuff. You got it. You got it, Master Ridhvi Garu. This is what the expectation. Even if I tell the HRSM also, you don't understand, ma. That's for sure. Because just one hour class, one week class. Right? So once you are strong with the basics, okay, very strong with the basics. Once you get comfortness, take one thing. maybe if you feel like grc is very good people are asking more about grc yes install the grc first to see what is the meaning of governance risk and compliance then create some 20 20 20 records from each one and whenever you are creating it try to understand what you are writing here okay when you say description okay i can't say my story okay my name is this one i born and brought up here i i bsc i completed me bsc that and all you should not write here the description of this incident you have to write got it ma so this is the easiest way to learn our applications and these applications are needed for our classes because we our development work will be on these applications it could be even for itsm also see generally we simply tell like okay i worked on itsm application do we really know itsm applications If someone asks you what is the difference between a major incident and an incident, we can't able to tell because incident is different, major incident is completely different. Major incident is a separate application, separate table. Okay, what is the difference between incident and a problem? How to convert a ticket to uh, from incident to problem? You have action, you know, but why you need to convert an incident to problem? They are definitions of this application. Okay. So these things and all you should practice. Ma, create some ten incidents, create under one problem, and then see the relationships. Okay? Can you add maybe one guy, one person, one of our student asked? Can we add? Uh, can we add one incident to one problem? Okay? Yes. Can we add one problem to one incident? Can we add multiple incident to one problem? Yes, we can do. Okay? Can we add multiple problems to one incident? No, it won't take. Okay, those things and all you need to understand from definition side. Okay, so try to explore more. Okay, and as part of our classes, na I will I will be explaining what is incident, what is problem, what is change, basic definitions like the life cycle. Okay, the SLS, right? How an incident will be created, channels of creating incident, and inbound email action. Those things and all I will cover, but. even i cover also you should more create incident maybe just create some 50 incidents before you start attending interviews then you will be expertise on incident management you got it ma you will get that see why i am telling this one is i given my my interview ma uh, somewhere around uh, fourth or fifth interview it was with uh, one of the very good company uh, i forgot the name of it okay So what they do is they will take only small small implementations. They will finish it in time, three months, four time projects, three months, four months projects. Okay. So that time the manager asked me nothing technical. Nothing technical means service no technical. 
even you didn't ask me one question about client script also he asked me in incident form what are the fields available i started number okay caller then i didn't get these two okay so how i can categorize he asked me category field is there then he asked about these these things and he asked about these things so he don't know maybe service no uh, developer concept but he know only itsm concept but even he asked them then he started asking i want the number okay uh, something he asked about a question how many ways you can give a unique number how you validate it something 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 he asked i failed to answer but that way also questions will come when you say i implemented incident management when you say you implemented incident management you should know the definitions of incident management you got it ma so the outer picture of this one is we should know about them it is not like there is something technical involved in that maybe little okay but not like the expectation is not that uh, technical stuff but more into process oriented right now sri devi gar is that clear yes sir yeah. okay 